Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 6, Lesson 15, Practice Problems Review. Evaluate each expression of x equals 3. Well, in A, if we evaluate that, this would be 2 to the third, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. In B, put in 3 for x. We have 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. Next, we have 1 to the x, where x is 3 then. Well, this is 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1. Then we have x being 3 to the first, which is just, well, 3. And then lastly, we have 1 half to the third, which is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 times 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2 times 2, 8. So 1 eighth. Continuing on, evaluate each expression for the given value of each variable. 2 plus x to the third, where x is 3. Well, that's going to be 2 plus 3 for that x to the third. Well, you have to take care of that exponent first. And so this is going to be 2 plus the 3 times 3 times 3 idea here, which is 2 plus 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, and 2 plus 27 is 29. As we look at x squared, if x is 1 half, this means, well, 1 half squared, which is 1 half times 1 half, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, so 1 fourth. 3x squared plus y. If x is 5 and y is 3, yikes. It's a little more difficult than anything we solved in class, but we can do this. Let's see, 3 times 5 squared, because we put the 5 in for x, plus 3 for the y. Well, let's make sure we're doing order of operations right here. We need to do that exponent first. So this is 3 times 5 times 5, and then plus 3. This is 3 times 5 times 5 is 25, then plus 3. And remembering our order of operations, multiplication comes first. 3 times 25 is 75, and then our plus 3. 75 plus 3 is 78. So our solution there is 78. In D, we have 10y plus x squared if x is 6 and y is 4. All right, so 10 times y is 4, pay attention to that, plus 6 squared. All right, so 10 times 4 plus 6 times 6. 10 times 4 is 40, and plus 6 times 6 is 36, and 40 plus 36 is 76. Let's continue on to question 3. Match each equation to its solution. Well, 7 plus x squared is 16. Well, let me give you a different approach and a different way of thinking about this now. 7 plus what is 16? What does this have to be? Well, 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. Well, that means 9 has to be equal to x squared. And what times itself is equal to 9? How about 3? 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So our solution here is x equals 3. What about b? We have 5 minus x squared is equal to 1. Well, let me ask you the same thing. 5 minus what is equal to 1? Well, that has to be 4, doesn't it? Because 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So that means 4 is equal to x squared. I'll ask you this again. 4 equals what times itself? Well, this time we're looking at 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And so b goes with 2. What about c? 2 times 2 to the third equals 2 to the x. Let's write those out. 2 is 2. 
2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2 equals 2 to the x. Well, you got four twos there, so this is actually 2 to the fourth. So x equals 4, which means c goes here. And yes, process of elimination means the last one's going to be 1, but let's figure out why. 3 to the fourth is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 3 to some power to get to 27. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times another 3 is 81. So 81 divided by 3 to some power is going to be 27. Well, just 81 divided by 3 is 27, so that means x has to equal 1. Let's continue on. Decide if the expressions have the same value. If not, determine which has the larger value. This is fun. We have 2 to the third and 3 squared. Well, if we look at 2 to the third, that is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So 3 squared has the larger value in question B. 1 to the 31st is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times, okay, I'm not going to do them all, but anytime you have something like this, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, you're just going to end up with 1. 31 to the 1st, that's just 31 times, well, nothing, it's just 31. And so 31 to the 1st is the larger value here. And here we have a special one, 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. 2 to the 4th power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So actually, these do special, but these do have the same value. Lastly, what about 1 half to the 3rd? Well, this is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 times 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2 times 2, 8. And then 1 third squared. That is 1 third times 1 third, which is 1 ninth. So they're not the same, but be careful. 1 ninth is not bigger than 1 eighth. 1 eighth is bigger than 1 ninth, so 1 half to the third power actually has the larger value. Continuing on now. An adult pass at the amusement park costs one and six tenths times as much as a child's pass. How many dollars does an adult pass if a child's pass costs five dollars? Well, that's going to be five times that one and six tenths. And when you multiply five by one and six tenths, you get eight. If the child pass costs ten, then 10 times the 1 and 6 tenths is going to get you 16. And if it costs you W, W times that 1 and 6 tenths, we simplify that to be 1 and 6 W. Child's pass costs 15. How much does the adult pass cost? You know what? I don't even have to add that up, do I? Or uh, multiply that out. You could just do 8 plus 16 is 24, but let's prove it. 15 multiplied by 1 and 6 tenths is also 24. Next page, we'll continue on. Jada read five pages every 20 minutes, and I haven't seen one of these questions in a while. At this rate, how many pages can she read in one hour? Double number line, table, which strategy you like better? All right. So, to get from uh, 20 to 40 here, we can multiply by 2. So, 5 times 2 is 10. You can look at 20 to 60, and we multiplied by 3. 5 times 3 is 15, which, of course, is just 5 more than that 10. I use the table to find the answer. Well, 
If I just simply wrote down 60 minutes here, I can go, wait a minute, this is times three. Five times three is 15, 15 pages. Well, you know, that works. What strategy do you like better? That's going to be up to you on what you like to solve and what methods you like to use. That is it for this grade six, lesson 15, unit six, practice problems review. Good luck.